Let's take a look at this reading comprehension passage on phenomenology. Remember, you're not expected to know anything about phenomenology prior to this exam, and in fact, after this test, you're not expected to remember anything about phenomenology. Your only goal is to answer these questions correctly, and everything you need to answer these questions are provided in the text you're given. The key is to not get bogged down in the details, but rather focus on the general important information, the general structure, and the author's tone. So take a moment, pause the video if you need to, read through this passage, and when we come back, we'll take a look at this question. All right. In this problem, we're asked what the word transparent in the second paragraph most likely means. So let's locate it in the second paragraph. We've got it right over here. It was a transparent system that reflected reality. But take a look at what we know about this. The other phenomenologists naively thought that language was a transparent system. If they were naive in their thought, that means that the transparent system doesn't probably mean like see-through system. It means like overly simple system. Something that's really simple or clear. So that's what they're trying to go for in transparent. We've got our prediction. We go to our answer choices and we say, well, look, the one that matches the idea of like uh, overly simple would be answer choice A, something that is easily understood. It's not a matter of what the word transparent means. When you get these types of problems in reading comprehension where they ask you for the vocabulary of a word in the context of the passage, it's going to be really important you look at the context of the passage because that word, transparent, could mean so many different things in real life, but in this passage, it only means answer choice A, easily understood. Great work.